Rock Nation TV, welcome back to the channel. Before we even get started, click that like button, subscribe to the channel. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel. Okay, people. We all seen what happened to um, Dante Wright the other day uh, in Minneapolis, about 14 miles away from the George Floyd trial. This young brother, 20 years old, get pulled over. He, he's on a misdemeanor warrant, and he gets killed by officer, well, former officer, Kim Potter. Well, today, she was in court charged with second-degree manslaughter. And um, the family, by the way, is out outraged that she was only charged with second degree manslaughter which in which in uh minnesota carries uh 10 years maximum so yeah she was charged with uh second degree manslaughter today and um we're gonna get into it so like i said before i was gonna name this video um killer cops versus uh white privilege and i'm gonna break down some examples why I named that video. Um, I named that video that. So just bear with me for a hot second. We're gonna freestyle this. We're gonna break this down and just bear with me for a second, okay? So now I'm gonna give you some parallel parallel examples of how I think that white privilege can get you killed. It definitely can get. Well, it's killing us for. for we already know it kills us. But I'm talking about the way that they're using it now. It's like, okay, you think it's all. You know, you know, you think it's all, all gravy and you can just stop white people and not do the procedures that you do with black people. You see what I'm saying? It's a totally di a different standard. You're not even going by the book. You know what I'm saying? So first of all, you're not even doing what you were trained to do. You see what I'm saying? So we're going to give some examples of um, uh, killer cops versus white privilege and how white privilege can get white people killed. OK, so I know that sounds kind of kind of funny, but we're going to break it down. OK, first of all, like I said, we had Devon, uh, Dante White, um, Dante Wright. I'm sorry, Dante Wright, 20 years old, wanted on a misdemeanor warrant, was pulled over by a 26 year uh, veteran. Uh, Kim Potter, former officer, been on the force 26 years and says that she doesn't know the difference between her gun and her taser. She thought she had um, her taser in her hand when she actually had her gun. And she actually screams out, taser, taser, and has a gun in her hand. You know what I'm saying? A ready-made excuse. That's what that is. That was a ready-made excuse. We all know what time it is. That was a ready-made excuse. But anyway, so what's the parallel, parallel to that? Okay. In Boulder, Colorado, you had this man go into a King Supers grocery store and he kills, slays, massacre 10 people, right? You see the picture of this guy. You see them walking him out. You know, he gets his day in court. They walk him right out peacefully. Walk him out. Don't bump your head and put him in the car, right? Here's the pictures of the 10 people he killed, all right? That's a parallel, parallel. And I'm just saying, all this happened. All These are... People, we don't have time to just go way back. We can go back every year for the last 20 years or more and and, 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 and just way more. And I'm just talking about since the invention of cameras. Now that we got this camera phone, it, it, we, now we see what they've been doing for years, okay? So we can go back and do that, but we don't have time for that. But like I said before, the parallel to that is that this young brother gets stopped get pulled over. He doesn't get to have his day in court because they murder him. He's 20 years old, right? 20 years old. I mean, he he's just, his whole, has a young baby, a, a kid, a girlfriend or a wife, you know what I mean? But he has a young baby that he leaves behind, a family that loves him. He's not from a broken home. He's not. But anyway, that's the parallel. And then you have this guy, who goes in and massacres 10 people on, and they they peacefully put him in the car and now we got to pay for this dude on our taxpayer dime, right? Our taxpayer dime pays for uh, for these criminals, criminal cops and the criminals that they uh, that go around massacring people, you know, and I just like to say to that officer who ran up in there, one of the, you know what I'm saying? Just when, just when I had empathy, because I do have empathy, for the one officer who ran up in there and lost his life up in Boulder, hey, my hat 
man, sorry for his family. And uh, and, and he's, that's what, poli- not saying that they should lose, they lose their lives, but you see what, he ran into the fire. That's what, that's what a cop does. That's what cops do. That man was brave. That's a hero. What I'm talking about right now, slime balls. And we're going to get into these slime balls, all right? It's, uh, okay, so that's the parallel that I'm talking about, right? So we had, like I said, we had Dante Wright gets pulled over, misdemeanor, boom. He doesn't get a day in court. He's dead. Shot by a 26-year veteran who now claims she 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 wasn't trained to use her taser. She doesn't know the difference between a taser and a handgun. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's one. Okay, now in the midst of all this, while this is happening, we have the George Floyd crowd. Now this happened in the same city. This is in the same not no less. It's in the same city. Like 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 you killing George Floyd in front of the whole world for the whole world to see wasn't enough. Right? It wasn't enough. We're going to, while we go to court, while you go to trial, and we're trying this police officer, uh, former police officer Chauvin, for the murder of George Floyd, we're going to kill another one. We'll kill another one. Right? It, it's a wonder that, that, that we, that, uh, I think that a lot of black people probably are, are, what do they call it? It's like we're in a war. You know? And we got, um, PTSD. You know, black people have PTSD. You wake up every morning. I have to wake up every morning. And my kids, I have young male adult kids. I have female. I have grown children. I got grandkids. I mean, they. I wake up and I turn the TV on. And, I, and, 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 and every day I got to see another black man getting killed by the police. Basically, the government. The people that we pay to protect us. We pay their salary. So I'm paying um, uh, these scumbags to uh, inflict harm and, and death amongst our community against people, amongst my, my people. Right? Okay. So let's, let's, let's go. So like I said, we all seen what happened with George Floyd, right? We all seen the cockiness of this dude, this little 140-pound uh, individual put his knee, handcuff this brother, and with the help of his other officers, and then grind his knee all in the back of his neck. We've seen that, right? So now they're having a trial, right? Like I said, they're having a trial, and, and they're trying to tell the people in the trial, that ain't what you've seen. Don't believe your eyes. Don't believe your lying eyes, right? So you can't see now, right? I'm going to tell you something right now. Any human being who's seen that video and they don't feel any type of empathy, you're racist. You're a racist individual who hates black people, who wish nothing but death upon you, and fuck you, by the way. <clears throat> and and are, are, are you dead? Because only a dead man can't see that, that, that. You can't tell me what I've seen, right? We all know what it is. Now in this trial, we're getting to all, oh, the knee wasn't on his neck. It was on his back. He was in a prone position. He should have just relaxed. Man, get the, man, if y'all don't get, quit playing with me, if y'all don't quit playing with me, quit playing with us, right? Quit playing with us. Quit be, y'all better quit playing with us, right? So anyway, here's the parallel to that one. So George Floyd, he's wanted, they, 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 a call comes in of a fake $20 bill being passed around, right? I don't care if he did do it. I don't care if he was high. Where's his day in court? That's what I'm talking about. Where's his day in court? Y'all always want to keep it legal and funky, right? Let's keep it funky. Where's his day in court? He can't get it. Because this little 140-pound weakling was training on that day. There was a uh another guy who was training. He was like on the on the on the on the on the force only two weeks. Two weeks. He was he, he so he was basically showing him, yo, this is how we get down. This is how we do it. You, I know you only been on here two weeks, right? And then the crowd. Now they want to try to blame it on the crowd. The crowd assembles anybody because we have empathy. Our heart's not built like that. You know what I'm saying? You can, you know, you've done 400 years, 500 years of 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 of, of oppressing 
us as a people, and we don't have that empathy like that because we 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 we're, we're God's people. We believe in God. You see what I'm saying? We have empathy, even though a lot of us do some rogue shit. You know what I'm saying? But as a people, we 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 believe in the higher power. You know what I'm saying? Our heart not built like that. And I think that's why they're afraid one day we might wake up and be like, oh, okay, that's what they, okay. And they're still doing it. Oh, oh, okay. But see, we're not, you know, it's not built like that. Okay, but check this out. So like I said, the parallel to that story, you got the Atlanta Spa shooter, right? This guy right here, this picture that I'm showing, the Atlanta Spa shooter. Yeah, this, this uh, make America a great citizen right here. Right? We got this dude, 21 years old. Where is he learning this from? He's only 21. It's not no old person who was brought up through the 60s or the 50s and 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 and, and, and was born and bred and on that hate from the 30s and the man, that's no, this is a young man. This shit's still going on. This shit is generational. They've been taught this, right? So he kills eight people. Here's the eight people. Take a look at these eight people. Take a look at these eight families that's been destroyed, right, by this guy. Take a look at that, right? But he gets his day in court, calmly, peacefully walk this guy um, to, his, to, to the police car. I think they actually said, hey, don't, don't bump your head when you get in. Have a seat. You okay? Here's a blanket for you, right? Come on, man. Y'all playing with me, man. Quit playing. Okay? We know what it is. Not understand, overstand. We know what it is. Now, and and y'all don't even hide it no more. You don't even hide it no more. You just take it to court and you try to use all these fancy words about this, that, and the other. You see what I'm saying? That's why I say black people, we need to get black, Latino, Asians, anybody that's a minority, we need to get our, our houses in order, get more people that look like us to patrol our communities, get more people that look like us that's on the judges on judgeships that 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 are uh that are on the um you know that are at the capitol that are helping make laws. You see what I'm saying? We gotta think, man, we know better, we do better. That's what I've always been taught, right? Okay, so the parallel to that is like I said, George Floyd don't get a day. Uh, his day in court, you know what I'm saying? But uh, the guy who killed the, uh, those eight people in Atlanta, he gets his day. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was saying, like, you know, I wanted to name this video that. It's crazy that I would even, and, you know, I have friends of all nationalities, all nationalities, so don't get it twisted. This ain't about bashing anybody. This is about telling the truth. This is about me waking up every day, having, having to see what I see on TV, and it hurts my heart that my, 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 my kids got to see that, that they got to go through this. Like, we live in all the six, man, come on, man, it ain't never stopped. It ain't never stopped. They done dressed it up different, right? You know, put a new suit on this racism. On this, on this white supremacy, they don't put a new suit. It ain't the Klan just walking down the street with hoods no more. I'm telling you, when they stormed that Capitol, I think they was out there giving up uh, um, police applications. You had all kind of people, doctors, lawyers, out the gamut. It ran the gamut of the country. It was the man. I'm telling you, in every, in every, um, in every, you think of any kind of walk of life, position in life that uh, that we have that's out there, any service that needs to be done in life, there's somebody out there that don't like us, right? Us and some more people, right? Not just us. We're not the only ones on the list, us white people. We're not the only ones. So, you know, a lot of people get their wake-up call. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people get their wake-up call. And it come when it come, it come hard sometimes. Like, oh, man, I thought I was with y'all. No, nah, man, yeah, y'all, you with us to a certain point, to a certain point. You can come all the way up to this door, but you can't come in this door. See what I'm saying? There's a lot. Now you can can yeah, yeah, yeah. See what I'm saying? It's sad because America is a great country, but it's gonna implode, and it's not gonna. They said I was watching a video today. They said the greatest threat right now to American to America 
is homegrown terrorism. White people. I didn't say it. I was saying it on the video today. It was on um, it's, uh, some news channel. I'm sorry. Don't get me wrong, but I, I'm, I wouldn't lie to you. And y'all should know that. The Oklahoma uh, City bombing, that's homegrown terrorism, people. Right? Let's get it. Roddy Nation TV, click that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Quit playing, y'all. Click the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Like I said, we're going to get into it, right? Now, we got, here's another one. We got the brother, right, from um, Virginia, a second lieutenant in the uh, with the Army Medical Corps unit, right? He just bought a new Chevy Tahoe. Um, it had tinted windows, and the tag, temporary tag, was in the back. Police claimed they couldn't see it, but as they approached the vehicle on the, um, uh, on the police's uh, camera, you can see the tag. But when they, they check this out, though, people, when they approach the vehicle, it's just like they walked up to the vehicle. Hey, how you? No. Get out the car. Guns drawn. Guns drawn. Hey, what's going on, yo? You, 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 I'm a second lieutenant. I'm in my uniform. What's going on, police? Get, you know, cussing. All kind of cuss words and stuff. And I'm sorry. I, if I, I try to keep the cussing down to a minimum. I feel that, that you know, I, I can speak more clearly and more intelligent without cussing. But, I, but sometimes, man, you got, sometimes you just got to call it like it is, man. And if it's and like this, like, like I said, what they're doing right now is fucked up, and y'all know it is, right? So, excuse this video ain't for the kids, but the kids need to know. I know my kids need to be knowing about what's going on out there in the world and how they need to act around these policemen if they ever get pulled over. Teach your kid how to act around these people. I ain't talking about kiss no ass or nothing like that, but you got to watch the man. I'm telling you, man, you got to watch these people. Me too. Not just kid. Me too. If I get stopped, get pulled over, man, they scary, bro. They scary. So you gotta watch. Man, they scary, bro. I don't think they just. Man, they they scary. They racist. They scary. You see what I'm saying? So now check this out. This last one that I got. That brother pulled him over by gunpoint. Told him to get out the car. He's like, "What's going on? This how you treat?" A person who serves your country, man, if you don't get up out the car, we ain't trying to hear what you're serving. You might as well be on the corner serving rocks, nigga. I don't give a care if you're serving our country. You might as well be serving rocks. I don't care about that uniform you're wearing. Get on the ground. And that's what they did. Made him get on the ground in his army fatigues, right? Then, at the end, Officer Guterres, it was a um, Spanish guy and a white guy. Officer Guterres, Guterres, to me, seemed like he was just showing out for this white officer. Or maybe he just don't like blacks, too. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But we got blacks like that, too. Don't get it twisted. It don't just come in one form. You get blacks, they get out there, they get the tap dancing for these white folks. Showing out. You want to be harder on you than the white cop. See what I'm saying? Because they want to fit in. They want to be a part of that good old boys club. See what I'm saying? But listen to me, people. If you are on the side of righteousness, righteousness, if you're on the side of, you think that they're, hey, don't pray for peace. Don't get it twisted. I don't told you there ain't going to be no peace. You got to keep your, we got to keep our heads straight. And we got to keep our eye on the prize. And we got to make sure the people around us know what's going on um, uh, in, 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 in this world. And, I mean, the world ain't getting no better. You can pray for peace if you want to. But every day the hits are going to keep coming. I call them hits because every day there's something new, right? When you wake up, there's something new, right? It's 2020, 2021, right? We already seen what happened last year. They stormed the Capitol, yo. You Can you believe that? Do you think what would happen if minorities stormed the Capitol? Man, the AKs would have been on us, man. Dogs. It would have been dogs. Man, man you know how many mass murder out there? You try to run up there and do what they did to the Capitol. They don't get it twisted. But anyway, like I said, I digress. Let's get back to this. Like I said, so they're going to tell, Officer Gutierrez is going to tell him, well, after it's, after they done put him down, sprayed him with mace, laid him on the ground, they're going to ask him, why didn't you get out the car? He's like, uh, well, do you see, I'm in a, I'm a, I'm a, man, the dude was like, I was, didn't understand what was going on. I was asking you what's going on. I served your, you don't see the uniform? You don't see my uniform? Is this a felony stop? No. Did I shoot somebody? No. And they do this to this brother. Hard to watch, man. Hard to fucking watch. Now, he's a black Latino. 
So I'm guessing he's probably from like um, Puerto Rico or Dominican Republic, somewhere along those lines. But it don't matter because you know what they seen first? His black face. They didn't see the. They, they don't give a care. They don't care about the uniform. Like I said before, he you can like they just said George Floyd, right? He was a crackhead and all this other stuff and tried to tarnish his name. So you can have a crack uniform. You can have a a, a military uniform. You can be the DA. I don't see the you know, I seen the scene where the police don't stop the DA. You know, Stevie Wonder used to have a song called um, what was that song called? Uh, say you might have the what do you say on that song? They don't want they don't want your kind living in here. You know what I mean? You might have a job. You might have all the money. They don't want you. They don't care about that. But anyway, like I said, so that's what they did to that brother. Now, on the flip side of that. They stopped, the police officer stopped this uh, guy in New Mexico. Um, and my condolences go out to this police officer's family. Because this ain't about bashing police officer. It's about the privilege that these white people afford other people that we don't get. We don't get those chances. And sometimes it can be detrimental um, to their health, not to ours. Because it, it's detrimental to us. They kill us like flies, swat us off. It ain't nothing. They know that they're going to have uh, uh, the, the DA might not take the, take the case. They might The grand jury might not indict. You know what I'm saying? The grand jury might not even pick up an indictment on the case. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, so he, he pulls him over, comes up to the car, and he goes, do you have any weapons? Now, I don't know what possessed this man to ask him that, but he asked this guy, do you have any weapons? Now, they're on a highway. As you can see in the picture, he's on the highway. But look how much room is on the other side of that road. He could have easily told him to pull over to the side of the road a little bit further. But no, he goes to the passenger side to talk to this guy, right? And he asks him, does he have any uh, weapons? Now, how many of you have uh, been stopped by the police and they come to your passenger side, right? Now, I'm not saying it don't happen, but I, it never happened to me. They always come to my side and they armed and ready. They already done unclip the butt, the, the 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 clip on the on the holster. They un they unsnap that. When they come to my car, they unsnap that. If not, pull it, right? Okay, so he goes to the side of the car, asks the guy, do you have any weapons? The man says yes. You know what he does after that? You know what it would happen if we would have told him, yes, man, if you don't put your hands on that steering wheel. It would have been, man, back up, all, man, come on, call back up, all that. Don't you move. It, you know what the drill would have been. What was the drill in Minnesota, the same city, when the dude told him he had a a, um, a permit and the gun was in the car? Uh, Phil C for uh, Castile, right? Remember? In, in the same city where all this shit is going on. Shot that man to death, right? Shot him to death. In front of his wife and kid, this kid was in the car. The man didn't had had a had a permit for his gun. Shot him dead, right? Okay, that's what. Yeah, that's what happened. But this guy, that's why I said this 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 white privilege will get you killed sometimes. Yeah, I got a gun. So okay, can you bring it to me? When have you heard that? Can you bring it to me? So the so the officer now is on. As you see in the picture, he's on the passenger side. The the other guy. He walks back, and you see the gun raised towards this guy. He don't even know what the fuck is coming. He shoots him. Then there's a video about this. I'm sorry I don't have it. I can't, you know, all this, you know, copyright stuff. But he walks after he shoots him. He falls down. He walks around the back of the of, of the um, truck, and he shoots him again in the head. Okay. Now this guy, he he leaves. Has he goes off, and he eventually gets killed in a um in a shootout you know, later on with the police after he kills this officer. But all I'm saying, we wouldn't have never got a chance to do that. First of all, you need to follow your training. You need to follow your training. You need, me personally, I think you need that camera on 24-7. Yeah, get up off the donut shop 24-7 or whatever you're doing. Whatever, I don't know what y'all be doing. I, I can only imagine. But whatever you're doing, they need that camera on 24-7. You turn it off, yeah, that's when you're foul. You, 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 it's off too many times. You get, you get on out of here. You're doing something. Right? So, like I said, I hope I explained to you about how white privilege can get them killed. You know they kill. White privilege kills us. Homegrown 
domestic terrorism is the number one thing should be on the Justice Department's list. You know what I mean? On the Justice Department, that's who they should be. Investigate them like you investigated the uh, Black Panther Party. Investigate them like you investigated the Muslims, all these Muslim mosques around the country when that when that plane hit. Investigate them, but you didn't. Yeah, you, they know about them, and they know you know it's hard to investigate yourself, right? It's hard to investigate your daddy, your granddaddy, your cousins around the corner at the family reunion. It's hard to go. <laughs> you're an FBI agent, and you go to the family reunion, and you got your cousins them from down in Arkansas somewhere under investigation. That shit is hard. I know it's hard. But you're going to have to choose. That's your job. This is America. You want to make it great again, right? You got to choose. Roddy Nation TV. Y'all click that like button. Subscribe. Quit playing with me. We out.